This video is going to show how to work with the ArcGIS API for JavaScript to create pop-ups on features, and we can use Arcade Expressions to create custom uh, uh, pop-up content. I'm going to start with a uh, Coropleth map of Washington State counties, showing the percent of people fully vaccinated as of May 18th, 2021. I got this data from the Washington State Department of Health and the Washington State Office of Financial Management uh, for the population figures. Uh, it's just loading in a GeoJSON with a class breaks render, and what we're going to do is add it so that when you click on a county, you'll see a pop-up like this. It has the county name as the title, and then it shows number of people vaccinated out of the total, and then it um, uh, reports the percentage and rounds it off. Uh, so uh, it's going to involve several moving parts to get a pop-up like this. Uh, but it certainly is possible uh, using Arcade, and you can get much more advanced uh, than this, as you'll see in the, the samples. Uh, just to show the data behind this, um, I'll show you what the original shape file looked like in QGIS. I've got these fields that are in my GeoJSON here. Uh, fully vax, which is the number of people vaccinated, estimated population as of 2020, and then a percentage, which I already just divided one by the other in the field calculator. However, you can see that this percentage is not uh, very clean. It's going to have a decimal on it. It has to be multiplied. And so that's what we're going to try to do is round that off to show a nice, uh, uh, a nice rounded percentage. For example, here, we're going to round this to 38%. So remembering how we add stuff using ArcGIS API for JavaScript or just about any web programming languages, you find a code example that works, that's what you want to do, and then you modify it. So if you go into the uh, sample code um, and you look down under pop-ups, there's a lot of great samples for that uh, that Ezri has provided there. And uh, there's one called Reference Arcade Expressions in a Pop-up Template. And uh, this is the one that we're going to be working with here to modify the code. Now, I, in a previous video, I already showed how to make the uh, the base map like this, uh, or in the, the thematic layer with the green. So you can watch that video if you want to get to this point. And that's why I already have a lot of code in my uh, index.html uh, file here, which we'll be editing in a second. Well, let's take a look at this example. Uh, they have put uh, some real fancy uh, pop-ups on here using a lot of Arcade and uh, sticking in values uh, with text, and then they make a table out of it. Uh, we just need to kind of see the basic pattern that's being used uh, because our, our pop-up is going to be a lot more simple than this. Uh, let's go to Explore in the Sandbox and take a look. First, I'm going to go to the place where they're just making the what's called a pop-up template uh, because we'll need, to, we'll need to set that part up. Now, if, if I scroll to the area where it, uh, around line 168, where it talks about the feature layer, um, notice that one of the properties of the layer can be a pop-up template. Ours is going to be a GeoJSON layer, not a feature layer. That's all right. We can still put a pop-up template on there. And, you know, as their pop-ups are fairly complex, they have a lot of stuff going on. But the main thing that we need in this is, uh, is three basic things. We need a title uh, for the pop-up. Uh, we need some content in it. And then if we're going to use any arcade in this content, uh, we need to uh, have down here uh, a reference to some arcade expression infos. And I'll, uh, I'll show you what those are. Um, the arcade expression infos are all of your arcade statements. And you have to structure them in the way that um, in kind of a... Uh, a set way here that it's expected by the code. So in line 93 in this sample is where they make these arcade expression infos. It has basically all their arcade expressions they're going to use, and then they give them a name and title. And um, for example, you can see some arcade right here that subtracts one field from the other. Um, you can see some arcade here that rounds off a value, which is going to be really similar to what we want to do. Ours is going to look a lot like this one. So they have a bunch of these arcade expression infos, and we're just going to have uh, one of those. Um, and so this should be kind of a lot, a lot easier in our case. Um, so, and then one other place where arcade expressions are referenced. Let me go back to this uh, pop-up template. You might have noticed inside of the content. Um, you can reference field values like this just by putting them in curly braces, but if you do, if you want to reference any kind of arcade expression, 
then you have to put it like this expression slash and then you put the name of the arcade expression info that you made up above so we're going to highlight pop-up template and very carefully go all the way down to the end of line uh, 255 here let's copy all of this and then in our code, let's go down to the GeoJSON layer. And there's not much there, but we can stick this uh, pop-up stuff in just after the opacity. It'll be fine down here. And uh, now we need to get rid of the stuff we're not going to use. So um, we're going to use the arcade expression infos. That we're eventually going to set those up. So let's leave that there. Uh, but let's delete some of this other stuff. You don't need all this field info stuff. So we're going to go up to here, the end of the content like this. Uh, I think this should work out for us. So we got a pretty simple pop-up template now. Uh, and let's deal with the title. So we want the county name in there. So just referring back to our um, attribute table here, back in our original shape file that I made into some GeoJSON. Um, the county. Uh, let's use county underscore nm, and that looks like the county name we want to have. Uh, so we can do that. We're not going to put the state. Okay. That, that should be our title. And then um, the content, let's, uh, let's make a string we can put in here. So I want to report the number of uh, whoops. I want to report the number of fully vaccinated people. So that that was in uh, that field fully vax that was in my uh, attribute table. Remember that. And then I want to say out of the total population. That's pop est. That doesn't go in quotes. There we go. Uh, people have been fully vaccinated in this county. And then I'm going to add on, um, this is where I want to use my arcade. So that is a rate of And I need I need some arcade to put in here because I can't I'm, I can't take the value directly out of this field. Uh, it doesn't look that great. I want to multiply I want to multiply it by a hundred, and I want to also round it down. So I need to do something with this uh, this field, and that's where I'm going to make the arcade expression info. So I've got to go back to the sample here, and I'm going to look up in the upper part where they make these arcade expression infos, and I'm just going to copy all of them in, and then I'll modify it. Go grab them all, and uh, I'm going to put this up above where the renderer is made, just to kind of follow there what they did. I'm even going to put it up above the uh, all these symbols, and I'm going to. Uh, I don't need all these arcade expression infos. I really just need one because there's only one place I'm going to use arcade. So. Um, and I need to give it a name, title, and an expression. And <laughs> so the name I'll, I'll use to reference it down below inside of the uh, content piece for my pop-up. So I'm going to call this percent vax uh, arcade like that. And then the title isn't really useful here, uh, but I'll fill it in anyway. It's this expression that's going to be the main thing. So here I can put an arcade expression, and I've got to put it in quotes like this. So I'm going to use arcade's round function. Um, and then I need to put the field that I want to have rounded. So feature dot, um, this is um, PT vax May 18th was the name of that field. And I'm going to multiply that by 100. And then with the round function, you have to put a comma and then the number of places you want to round it to. So I want zero decimals in there, uh, none at all. And in Arcade, I can concatenate. So I'm going to use single quotes inside the double quotes to just concatenate on this little percent sign. So I've got my nice little Arcade expression that's going to round things. And you could go crazy with this and add lots of other Arcade stuff in here, lots of expression infos. Um, but let's use this one. So 
thing I want to remember is this name, and we'll see where this comes into play. I've just copied it onto my clipboard. Let's go back down to where we were setting up the pop-up template content. And remember, we wanted to use it here. So we're going to do expression slash ECT Vax Arcade. And if this works correctly, then uh, that expression will be applied here. So we're going to test it. Now, I have this uh, HTML file sitting in the same folder as my GeoJSON. Um, if you haven't done it, uh, you need to uh, uh, temporarily disable the unique uh, origin policy in the about.config of Firefox, as I showed in the, uh, the previous video in this series, uh, if you want to test it like this. Uh, on the file system, but if I just double click this, um, it should load in the GeoJSON and then we can test. Um, looks though like I've got a blank screen, so this means I've got a problem. Remember, um, yeah, I've shown in other videos how you can debug by just opening the web developer tools, and it will show you where the issue is. So it looks like I've got an issue on uh, near around line 156 with my open and closing brackets, so let's take a look at that. Uh, what happened here is uh, the original sample had more content, and so um, this square bracket got left in there. I can get away with here um, just making this a little more simple. So I'm just going to go straight up content like this. This is looking a little hairy, but we'll we'll clean it up. <laughs> I do need a comma, but I don't want all that space there. So see how I've, I've cleaned this up a little bit. So I've just got the title, the content, which I can directly put a string in here like this, and then uh, the expression infos. That's a, a little bit nicer. So I had left some junk in there when I was copying in sample code, and that's something that can happen in web development. So that's why I'm not editing out these parts of the video, because it very well happen to you. So now we're loading in. Uh, this looks better. It looks like we're going to get a map here. Not everything's going to crash. So I'm going to close this down. And then let's take a look at our pop-up content and make sure it looks like what we want. Okay, we got here the name of the county. Um, and yeah, everything looks like it came through pretty well. So we just pulled in values directly from the fields from the GeoJSON. Uh, but we also applied an arcade expression, which was uh, set up using the arcade expression infos up higher in the page.